Mr. Chairman. Now, page 17 and 22, Chinese version said that only 15% of the tenants are paying OMR. And the audit investigations have found that uh, there are some outrageous examples, the difference, okay? Only 1% of the OMR in some cases. And the reports uh, mentions other things for the FEHD, okay? There's a response from the department. In the past, there were itinerant talkers, they could get concessionary rental. Usually that was for three years, about six to seven percent of the OML. Just now the director said that in 1998, there was a reduction of 30 percent, and from 1999, there was a freeze up to 2009, okay, June next year. So that's why some tenants are paying rents far lower than the OML. Of course, in difficult times, reduction and freeze will tire uh, the storeholders over the difficulties. But has the department considered this for the freeze and for the concessionary rental? Can they be recovered progressively year by year? Can this be done separately, director? about freeze and if at the same time we do something we have to consider that just now mentioned the adjustment mechanism if we try to activate the mechanism at the same time when there is a freeze then the, uh, there will be some problems because the government has uh, uh, imposed a freeze and then the, the government tries to resort to a, an adjustment mechanism I think uh, the stockholders may have different uh, views. But of course, we have to tackle this matter head on. In the past, there have not been a thorough discussion about the specifics and integrity of the mechanism. Now, about the freeze, about the concessionary uh, rent, well, actually, the concessionary rent is, has also been frozen. That's why you have this scenario. Okay, For three years, you have uh, concession, and then over a decade now, you have had concessions. So the difference has been very uh, large. You were apprehensive of a radical public opposition. Well, it was only 1% of the OML in some cases. Why shouldn't you increase the, the rental? But some people uh, bid in open auction. They pay 60 or 70% of the OML. It's not fair in the same market. It's quite simple. People cannot complain. Okay, they just pay one percent of the oil amount, and if they oppose it, uh, is it reasonable? We should not fear them. It shows that the administration has not carefully considered that you really can't catch up with the oil amount. The public market store operators will not pay market rent, but value for money. Perhaps uh, you have to ask people to pay seventy percent of the oil amount, and uh, not to mention rates and uh, AC costs. We are only focusing on uh, rents. It shows that the FEHD is dragging its feet. Okay, you know the situation. Say, by June next year, you have to file a report. Have you really considered that, Director? Director, uh, certainly in the report uh, coming up in June, we'll look at this as a whole, Mr. Wong. Uh, you have to tell us um, about this right now. Director, uh, we have uh, stated our position. If uh, we freeze the rent and uh, revise the rent upwards, uh, at the same time, the, the message would be conflicting. Mr. Wong, how can it be conflicting? You're paying 1% of the OMR. We are putting up the, the rent a little bit. I'm not asking you to bring in line with um, the next store that, it, that is paying 70% of the OMR. But this uh, increase would reduce uh, the differential. Uh, director, well, you, we were talking about extreme examples. Uh, there are 400 or so uh, that are in this category. Of course, this is something that has to be addressed. But, uh, Mr. Wong, we'd like to see this happen as soon as possible. At the end of the day, we have to come back to Let's Go and talk to panel, uh, the relevant panel first. We also have to consult the uh, the market tenants. Uh, you would expect some communication to happen. 
uh, it would be a couple of months would not be quite sufficient. We'll um, talk with the Bureau and when we come back in June, uh, we'll uh, follow up on the matter. I think it is reasonable. Mr. Wong, is uh, the Director telling us that um, on the uh, 30th, 30th of June 2009, you would not be able to, to uh, charge the OMR? Director, well, it all depends on the uh, let's go. Well, you should have your own uh, inclination. You, you, uh, you uh, let us have um, your your position. 30th of June, after 30th of June 2009, will you uh, increase the concessionary rental? Do you have any inclination in this regard, Director? Chairman, I don't really want to preempt the review. Uh, at this point in time, Mr. Wong, or you don't really have any inclination at all. Mr. Wong, we are taking evidence, but we are gathering evidence. This is important, Mr. Chairman. From the value for money point of view, if, if you ask me, uh, my party is uh, against a uh, rental increase, but you have to have uh, Justice, you have to, to make it fair. There are some who are paying 1% of OMR. Why don't you have a go at these category first? I don't think they would uh, object uh, st too strongly. Uh, I mean, if you uh, raise it to uh, one, uh, 500, $1,000, I don't think they would they would shout at, at you. I'm not saying that you, you should uh, uh, have an overkill and uh, bring bring in line with OMR, but at least you should have some inclination. You should have some ideas. I mean, you you shouldn't tell us that you, you you're not supposed to preempt the review. This is uh, a report about the management of the market, and this is a very important aspect. Uh, the subletting is also another important element. This uh, would. Uh, uh, cost losses. Uh, we have to find out about you. You're refusing to answer the question. Well, I'm director. Uh, I think um, there are many options uh, open to us. Uh, the store tenants are they paying very low rent. If uh, you double that uh, from 100 to uh, 300 to, to 500, it may not be a very high rental, but as far as the uh, tenants uh, are concerned, they may say that, uh, uh, that the rental uh, is uh, really double trebled and, and so on. Uh, I hope that um, Legco would not uh, say that we are callous uh, and, and increase the rental uh, by this margin. Mr. Wong, if you are sympathetic to the plight of the uh, store tenants, there are store tenants that are paying 1% of the OMR. I don't think they have any ground for objection. I mean, uh, maybe they're paying $100, and so you're putting, up, uh, putting that up to $500. The society wouldn't let them cry foul. Yet, you have to pay for the air conditioning, and you're talking about uh, all these uh, uh, moral high ground, and and these uh, tenants uh, would be uh, complaining. I do think you should uh, hide behind this excuse. After the 30th of June 2009, will you consider increasing the concessionary rental? You haven't answered my question on that. Well, this has to do with uh, the Bureau's policy, perhaps uh, let's await the review. And I hope that um, this will also be included uh, in the review.